I still recall the first time I ever connected to physical gear back in the 90s at the beginning of my Cisco career. And uh, I got my console cable. I connected it to my console port, got my terminal emulator all set up, and then connected and boom, I was at the command line interface. So I wanted to chat with you in this video about passwords as they apply to this console port and how we can protect it. And I thought to myself, self, in setting this up, I thought, how do we give everybody who wants to participate here an opportunity to get the look and feel of connecting to the console port on a router? And one of the options that I came up with, which I think is a pretty good one, is to use Packet Tracer. So if you have not yet had the opportunity to go through the little section of videos that I created on how to get up and running very, very quickly with Packet Tracer, you might want to block off a little bit of time, take a look at that. Packet Tracer is an amazing tool. So here in Packet Tracer, let's go ahead and bring out a device that's going to be brand new and that's a router. So down here, we'll click on network devices. We'll click on routers and let's drag out uh, 2911 will do right there. And then let's also bring out a PC. So we'll go ahead and click on end devices. And then let's just click on a PC and drag it up. So our goal here is to see what it looks and feels like when we connect to the console port of this router. So if we click on this router, and then we click on the physical tab up here and then we click on zoom in and then we scroll over here is the console port right here and here is the auxiliary port so for a view on live gear here's the console port and here's the auxiliary port so let's connect from a pc with a rollover cable to this console port on this router so i'll go ahead and close this window now in a physical world we just physically connect it in this logical world we'll click on the connections tool this lightning bolt here and then this blue arced picture right here, this is the console cable. So we'll click on that, and then we'll click on from PC0. We'll select we're going from our RS-232 port over to the router. And on the router, we'll connect to the console port. Now the console port and the auxiliary port, they are both serial interfaces. So for this demonstration, we're going to connect to the console port. Now in the old days, we had these serial, these big ugly serial ports on our computers, 9-pin and sometimes 25-pin ports. But nowadays we have a USB port, so we take a USB port that goes to an RJ45 looking connector. And this is our console cable that we're connecting from our PC into that router. So now that we have the physical connection of the console cable going from the PC from its serial port over to the router's console port, how do we actually activate it? What we can do is we can click on PC0. And here on PC0, we'll click on desktop, the desktop tab. And there's an option right here for terminal. So we'll click on terminal. Then it's asking what do we want the speed set on our serial port that's connected to that console port. We're going to use 9600, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, no parity. And click on OK. And boom, we're there. We're at the CLI on this router. So if we press Enter, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? We'll say no. Press Enter. And then press Enter to get started. Now, one of the questions that's really, really useful to answer is how do we know from a logical perspective, how do we know we're really connected to the console port and not the auxiliary port? And one way of doing that would be to do a show users command right here at the CLI and it'll tell us. So here at the CLI, we'll do a show users, press enter. And this little asterisk right here indicates where we're coming in from. So if we had several different lines, VTY lines, auxiliary line, the console, where people were connected, the little asterisk is showing us where our current session that we're currently using, where we're connected. So we are on line console zero. Also notice the prompt here. We are dropped in immediately in user mode. Now user mode, which we recognize from the greater than symbol, that's also known as privilege level one. And if we typed in enable and went to privilege mode, that's really referred to as privilege level 15. And those are gonna become more important as we get more creative and carving out different commands that can be used at different privilege levels. But for starters, we have privilege level one, which we know as user mode, and privilege level 15, which we know as privilege mode. Another great question is, hey, okay, Keith, how do you prove that? <laughs> that that's really the privilege level you're at? We can use the command show privilege, and it'll tell us. So if we issue the command show privilege and press enter, bada bing, bada boom. So we're connected to line console zero, we're by default in user mode, privilege level one. And if we type in enable and press enter, notice there's no password to get into privilege mode. And if we hit the upper arrow key a couple times, do a show privilege again, now it's showing us that we're at privilege level 15. And if we do a show run and just hit the space bar a few times to go to the very end, here is the defaults for line console zero. So here's our takeaways that I want you to know about regarding line console zero. By default, no login is required. Meaning when we connect to that line console zero, it's not asking us by default for a password just to get access. 
So that's one thing. The second thing that's worth noting is that if we type in enable to go to privilege level 15, by default, with no enable secret set, no password set for privilege level 15, it will automatically allow us to go into privilege mode. Now, here's the rub. We do not want to allow line console zero, the console port, just open and free access because if somebody physically can get to the box and plug in a console cable, boom, they get access to the system. So we want to have some type of password in place that protects the logon or access to that console port. And here's the syntax to do exactly that. What we would do is we go to line console zero configuration mode. So config T and line space console zero. And what we could do is just use the command password and specify the password we want to use. So let's go ahead and call this console PW or whatever passphrase or password you want to use to protect that port. And then secondly, we're going to use the command login. So the password is saying what the password is going to be for that line console zero. And the login command says login is required. And that way, the next time somebody tries to connect to line console zero, they'll be prompted for a password. They'll have to supply this password. And since we're right here, let's do it. We'll go into configuration mode, line console zero. And here we'll do password. And we're going to use the password of console PW, press enter. And then the command login, which is going to require somebody connecting to that line console zero to have to supply the password. It's a two-step process. Both those steps are important. We'll press enter. And let's go ahead and type in exit. And we'll press enter to reconnect. And now it's asking us for the password for line console zero, which is console PW, press enter. And now we have access once again. So here in user mode, privilege level one, if we want to go to privilege level 15, we type in enable, press enter. And once again, here, when we're connected to the console, if we don't have an enable secret set yet, it automatically puts us into privilege mode just by typing enable. And if we do a show run and hit the space bar a few times, here's the password we specified. And here's the keyword login saying that login is required. Now this line password that we just specified, uh, if somebody is looking over our shoulder at our config, they would then know what that password is. So we'll walk through a separate step to encrypt or lightly encrypt that password to make it more difficult to interpret or read from the naked eye. In this video, we did three basic things. Number one, we identified the defaults for the line console zero, the console port. And that is, there's no password required to connect. There's no password required to get into privilege mode. It just lets you in. Second thing we identified was that we can put a password on that line console zero by using the password command in line console zero configuration mode and using the keyword login, which means login is required. Third, we identified that line passwords by default are not encrypted. And we'll solve that problem in a separate video. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.